Tip back again, and well, look who we have in the studio today. It's me again, Josh, the husband. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> so, guys, today we decided to work on two pages separately. Okay, so this created, oh, as you see, Josh has already spilled the ink all over the page. Oh, goodness, it is different when you bring someone else into your studio, that's for sure. So, we decided to work independently, and he is he telling me that he wants to do an hourglass. So, I was like, okay, go for it. Um, so, he's that's what he's kind of... Uh, talking through and walking through and his head was right in the um actually the uh the studio light that we have so there are some shadows and things but we had a good time and that's what art is all about okay so as you can see i put the gesso down and then i just use that um needlepoint circle to kind of create some texture inside the gesso and then Josh is telling me, asking me, should he paint his hourglass or should he actually sketch it out? So I told him, go ahead and sketch it out. That way you have some guidelines to kind of um, use as you grab the paintbrush. Because with pencil, you could erase if you wanted to, and it's a little less permanent. So he would have the option to do that. I went off camera to um, just dry that gesso a little bit because guess what? It's a little bit tight quarters when you have two people working on this together. So we are trying to keep it within the same color family and kind of use the same products. Um, I really wasn't paying a ton of attention to what he was doing because I was working on my own thing. So we are going back and forth and just kind of trying to use the same materials for you guys. And that blue was ink. And then I told him that he forgot to show the viewer what he used. So you'll see him come back and kind of show you guys what the products were that he was using. So um, we had a great time. He's using some magenta from uh, the goldens and then the liquid uh, ink acrylics that he, uh, the fluid uh, acrylics that he dropped and made a mess with. But it's part of the fun, right? We did have have some good laughs in here. And, um, yeah, well, he was in my way sometimes, and I was in, <laughs> in his way sometimes, too. But as you see, over where I'm working, I'm using the same thing. I did use the brayer to kind of move the paint along and kind of... I love how the paint um, does and creates... Um, really interesting um random texture and then i'm showing you here how that magenta quinacridone magenta is working within that a uh, blue color and creating the most beautiful purple color as they integrate there and i'm just gonna um kind of smush mine together by doing it in half um as you saw ultimately um we're gonna keep going with this I, we had a great time and that's what art is all about and um, we are going to bind this into a book, um, and we'll be using different kind of substrates. So we're going to uh, we're going to bind it in a book, and it'll be a fun keepsake that I'm sure that we will uh, look back on and uh, have some good laughs and good good giggles as uh, we pass the time together. So. Okay, so then I'm over here with my marker, and I was asking him, did he want to use the marker to create his kind of foundation and border for his um, hourglass? And he opted for just going with some paint. So I'm going in here because I didn't like the little dots that I was making. And guess what? If you don't like it, it's only paint. Just cover it up is what I say. So I grabbed the paints gray, and I just went over it just ever so lightly to create some contrast of dark there with the brayer. And we're having a conversation because he wanted to put um, Don't Waste Time on uh, his page. And he couldn't find the words. So we were trying to figure out if we had the words or will we have to write it in. Because it really fit in well with the five minute challenge that I have going on on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you can find the link below. 
But pretty much what it is, is if you have five minutes, you can create art every day. Is it challenging? Yes. Is it a completed piece? No. Will you love it? Probably not. But guess what? It does release energy. It allows you to be able to um, start your day or end your day with a little less stress and use that five minutes to really create and get that energy out um, and into your art journal. So I thought it was perfect that he used um, his hourglass for time and said don't waste time because literally that it worked perfectly for the theme that we have going on so make sure you find my Instagram link I love to see your work and I love to to cheer on um, other artists and creatives who are just having a blast so as you see here I'm just getting some old thread that's some vintage thread I found somewhere in Tennessee and I flea market and I'm just taking a little piece because you know I love love um the uh vintage he's still in the background not the vintage the texture Tiffany um he's still in the background trying to find the words that he needs um and digging through and I'm gonna grab this uh large font uh book that I have it's called sprig muslin um, I've used it for the 100 day project and so I didn't want you guys to sit while I piddle with that. I did find um, some words um, and I can't even tell you what they say right now. Hold on, I have the page. Yes, I can. Never mind that is what it says. Um, it has the cutest little sayings and so I'm just going to glue that down and then I'm going to use the stapler to attach those fibers in the corner. Um, because I do love a good staple and I do love the threads that add that little pop of texture. I did place my words um, in the darker area so they kind of pop. Um, if you find that your words are getting lost, create some kind of contrast on the background and they'll stand out a little bit more. So I just stapled that there and I love how messy and wild and crazy it is just like me. And so now we're at a point where Josh um, is ready to add his words. And so he could not find the word waste. He could find in the Tim Holtz um, words, he could find don't. He could find time, but he couldn't find the word waste. And so he was asking me, what should we do? Should he write it in? And I'm like, yes. But then it was like the dark magenta was so dark that if you wrote it in black, it's not going to show up. So I'm off camera over here just drying it up to make sure. And he apparently is telling me something with his hands over there. And so we decided that we should take masking tape. And allow him to write the word waste on that. And that way he could just add um, the words that he wanted. And then also use his stickers. So it was really, really a fun idea to be able to uh, do that. And so, um, yeah, he had to put it up there. And then he's going to write the word waste. And he wanted me to write it, but I said, no, just write it in your regular handwriting. It'll be fabulous. And guess what? Your handwriting is only your handwriting. So um, it's kind of like your fingerprint. And then he's putting um, the time on the bottom. And so we wanted to outline it a little bit. And we did that. Or actually, I did that for him. And uh, he's instructing me here to go across the top and the bottom. So I hope you enjoyed our page today. We had a blast and that's what it's all about. Click that subscribe button and leave me a comment, guys. Until next time, toodaloo.